I know the BIAR Expo in China, in Shanghai, and I want to show you some of the coolest tech they have this year. I am here at the Sony booth, and I did not expect this coming, but they have these trackers for dancing and exercise by Sony, and they're very small, very easy to attach. Sadly, they're not ready for MetaQuest devices yet. You need a PC or a Steam device, but yeah, very cool and looking forward to see how that's going to be when you can directly connect to a MetaQuest. So this is the Play for Dream VR. I did review this not too long ago, but it looks like they're refining the technology here. It looks a little bit better. The software is better. I seen there basically very close to final production. I'll see if I can get another chance to review it when it's in full production version. This is the Ray Neo booth and look at this. Basically, Rayban Meta, but you know, right new version. There have been a lot of these today at the expo. There are like so many versions of it, and they all look kind of very similar to the Rayban Meta. Uh, these are the right new version, and I guess what this is gonna do is gonna bring the price down. Competition is always good. So there have been a lot of glasses or sunglasses that they have cameras now. It looks like that technology is already everywhere. But this is very special. This is the rocket glasses. And not only have a camera, and the camera is actually pretty good, but also have a double heads-up display. So you wear it, a little bit hard to show you, but I can actually see the display right now. I mean, it's not full color, it's just green color. And it looks very sharp, very easy to look. And it have a translator, it have AI, it have navigation. I mean, they feel like regular glasses. They're not heavy whatsoever. Um, also have Bluetooth speaker and the same technology that is already uh, pretty much mainstream, but this at the double uh, display on the glasses that you cannot even see it from the outside. I mean, I can only see it. Okay, right here we have a very interesting car racing simulator. I did try it. It was very freaky. I mean, technology is moving forward really, really fast. But at the Expo, they're not just products, they're also experiences. There is a lot of software developers, like the one right behind me, and I think it's it is really fun to look at. I mean, they look like zombies standing there and walking slowly. Uh, same like this one, there were some other experiences for the Vision Pro, for the MetaQuest and Pico VR. There are also films that are being displayed here. And later on, they're eventually gonna go public, but not yet. So you can only experience them first right here. This right here is actually really cool. I don't know how this technology would develop because it's hard to see a commercial use for this, but it's basically a 3D display that is really, really 3D. I mean, you have a camera in here, you cover it. As I uncover it, it's tracking my eyes the whole time. So you know where my eyes are. And it really looks like these plant branches are coming out. The, the butterfly is like, I can almost touch it here. I mean, it's that far out. The 3D is very deep and it looks beautiful and sharp. It's not making me dizzy or it doesn't look unsharp at all. I mean, it's really cool, but yeah, like I say, it can only track one person at a time. So it's tracking my eyes. If another person is maybe, I don't know, here, it will not see a proper 3D image. It might see like, kind of like all messy. So, you know, cool, but I don't know. Let's see, let's hope we can get something like that in the future where it's more commercially available. This is the Imo Smart Glasses. And you can see they're kind of big. It's a little bit like the Meta Orion. It's something that it can basically do it all. But in this one, the projector, it is basically like, like, like a really big screen, full color. You have cameras, have Bluetooth speakers, and the way you navigate this, because I'm actually having a full screen in front of me, is with a ring. So this ring is kind of touch sensitive. It's basically like a mouse, and it has a single button. And you can also move it by uh, detecting the movement on your finger. So it's, it's very clever, very cool. They do weight 100 grams, which is a bit on the heavy end. I don't think anybody's gonna be wearing this for long periods of time. But you know, the screen is tracking the movement of my face. It is actually very sharp, and I can still see the people passing by. I mean, I see everything quite clearly. I mean, this technology, this is what is gonna probably replace a smartphone someday in the future. I mean, I'm pretty sure about it, but it's not ready yet. It's still a little bit too heavy. The screen quality even so is quite good. Maybe not there yet. And also the way you interact. 
mm, I do not see it. I mean, you need to kind of like move your finger and touch and have a ring all the time in your hand. So, I don't know. It's really cool to test this equipment now. By the way, this same as the uh, Rocky, they're not available in America or anywhere except China. So I believe eventually this technology is going to start shipping abroad. But for now, well, you can just watch this video, I guess. This chair I'm sitting right now is probably one of the highlights of the whole show, at least for me. It was very impressive. You can see it behind me, how they're moving. They basically can move 360, they can get into crazy angles. And what I did demo was a roller coaster and it scared me to death. I mean, it was so realistic. I mean, the vibrations were going up, the, the vertigo was going down. I literally have to jump off the chair because, yeah, I'm kind of scared of roller coaster and I saw that I can handle this one but it's basically like the real thing. So yeah, very scary. They told me in the near future, I mean, they already have developed it. They didn't bring it here to the show, but they're gonna have basically steering wheels and pedals if you wanna use it for example for car racing games. And the experience is gonna be amazing. I mean, I can tell you the way this chair moves is very real and it have full movement. So if you turn, the whole chair is gonna turn with you. And if the car basically gets a bump, you're gonna feel it. I mean is really fantastic the price not that cheap six thousand us dollars um i guess if you're gonna have the racing mode or some extra add-ons it's gonna make that price even higher but i think it's totally worth it it's really cool experience there has been a lot of attempts of making vr gloves it's kind of basically like ready player one it's a dream to not having these controllers all the time and just simply use your hands but properly with real tracking. These have the choice here on the finger, AB button on both sides, and trackers. They're really not that heavy. They're actually very comfortable. And you can see here on the screen, you can see the speed is very good. The track quite good. I wonder if I can put my hands behind the back. It still work. So no matter where I move my hands, I make a fist, you can see the speed. Now this scene is kind of popping out all the time and using the joystick and the buttons here, not that comfortable i guess they can improve the design a little bit later but overall the most important which is the tracking it works look at this thumbs up i, I cannot have to try this it worked <laughs> so like i said before there are a lot of glasses this year and these are the canon and you can see they have the this very nice design they're very lightweight obviously they have cameras and speakers just like any other sunglasses or glasses out there but this has something special it recognizes when someone posts for a picture and it automatically takes the picture i don't know interesting and um, by the way all these glasses that are coming up now from china that are kind of like the revan beta is basically like the revan beta similar quality but a lot more affordable so keep an eye for those this right here is the slam cam x cam i did review it on my channel not too long ago and by the way check out my t-shirt it is the company that invited me to the show i'm doing brand ambassador for them so first of all thank you thank you james for bringing me here he is the ceo and i think this camera is gonna revolutionize the market of immersive video yeah. because this is quite affordable how much yeah. is this uh yeah why is all that what one thousand dollars i mean to put into context, you're not familiar with these cameras, they usually cost like four, five, or yeah. more yeah. thousands dollars, right? Yes, yes. So they're very expensive. And not only that, they're not just expensive, this is just kind of like one touch, yeah. that's it. You yeah. don't need to any complicated video editing techniques, no, nothing, you don't need to focus. They have an extra camera here for focus, automatic white balance, automatic exposure. So yeah, I'm probably gonna do a new video on that very soon because when I review it, it was like early production version, kind of like a prototype now it's very close to full production yeah. so it looks a lot better i shot a lot of videos with it and to be honest i love it the china shanghai expo was a lot of fun i'm really looking forward to see the next year and there were quite a lot of new tech here a lot of new expositors a lot of new brands and a lot of tech that is not quite well known in other countries basically they're just developed here in China and eventually they're gonna start shipping once they're ready. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have, as usual, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and I'll see you on the next one. Adios amigos.